Hi, I'm Kathleen McCullough, and I'm super excited to be part of the Austin Studio Tour this year. Even though we're virtual, I think it's a great way for all of us to get to know a lot of different artists, and I'm super excited to show you my work. I'm an artist and photographer. I specialize in fine art photography, as well as commercial, editorial, and portraiture. Um, a lot of my work is personal and kind of pulls from personal things, but I explore universal themes of longing um, and our connection to nature. And a little bit about me, I'm a mom, I have two, two little kids, and I also, um, while photography is my number one passion, my other passion is surfing. I don't get to do it a lot, uh, living in the middle of Texas, but I love it. I love water skiing, swimming, anything water-based really. I shoot both film and digital cameras. Um, my favorite camera is my medium format film camera, um, but I also love a little uh, point and shoot 35 millimeter film camera. To me, the medium isn't as important, you know, whatever gets the job done, but there is a soul and a life to film work that I just um, love. So I, I do use my film cameras a lot. Um, Speaking of which, people often have a lot of questions for me about my film work, and I love talking about creative process and sharing my creative process. So I'm gonna um, have my contact information at the end of this video. Please reach out. You can DM me on Instagram or email me, and I'm happy to talk about it with you. I'm also doing a live Q&A event on Zoom as part of the studio tour. So uh, go ahead and sign up for that. It'll be a Zoom, and I'd love to have you there and answer any of your questions. So thanks for being here. So Tender Things is an ongoing series that started with this poppy field here. It was the launching point. That's often how I work, where something inspires me, and it's um, I have a creative contract with myself, and one of the main rules that has helped me most is that if something inspires me or I'm drawn to it, I don't have to understand why. Um, I don't question it. I just need to go make some work there or with it or with the person. Um, and oftentimes things happen once I just get started. So in this case, the poppies um, were something I was drawn to. I had unsuccessfully photographed uh, my two children there once before and it was still nagging at me that I knew they were I wanted to make some good work there um, after that the next step in this project anyway was just finding a model um, and then choosing um, the styling for her so what was she gonna wear I often do my own styling and in the case of tender things um, which is about sensuality, um, nature's sensuality, as much as our own, nature's innocence, as much as our own. Um, the garments, if any, uh, were important to me. So finding and choosing some sheer hose socks, which are featured here, or the um, bloomers, vintage bloomers from the 1960s that are featured here, those actually helped. Like I often use vintage things. Um, they inspire me a lot. So once I found those that brought in this field of flowers, which are blue and purple and went perfectly with those bloomers. Um, it's not about the fashion. This is not a fashion, uh, you know, a fashion shoot. However, um, I think if they were wearing something else, it, it, would, it wouldn't work, you know? I think um, this is about, you know, being about our, our place in nature and, <clears throat> excuse me, instead of being other than nature, we are part of nature. She is part of us. We can't live without her. Um, the models need to be somewhat you know, naked, not fully nude, but there needs to be skin involved, right? That's how we came <laughs> came into this world as part of nature. So that was a huge um, part of
part of this too. It's just showing skin, but not in a sexual way. This is another part of my Tender Things series. This uh, photograph was taken at a different time with a different model. Um, and as you can see, the shadows on her skin are a big part of this image and what makes it for me. I love how it's featured in my client's kitchen on the same wood grain wallpaper with the same frame. All of that provides such great continuity. Um, and the whole series is about our relationship with nature, our place in it, um, our fragility, and how it relates to nature's fragility and our impact on it. Get closer. You know, I love showing you um, the work in a client's home, already framed, but that definitely means um, real life provides some glares and they show up so much more on camera than they do uh, in person. This is the fourth piece of the Tender Things series that this client purchased for their home. Um, red is definitely a color scheme in their house and that's why this series works so well for them. And I love the pairing of the dark red lacquered frame. The mar it's really a maroon. Um, again, we have some sort of bloomer and um, she's in the poppies. Here's another favorite piece featured in the client's home. This image is of my daughter taken in an abandoned home. And uh, there's this amazing vintage wallpaper behind it, which, or behind her, which drew me to this room along with the light. And so again, while um, these aren't fashion photographs, I do take into account color a lot. Color is really important to me. And so I thought about what I wanted her to wear as far as a color when she came with me to this room. And luckily she obliged, she doesn't always. So uh, this is a standalone piece. This is one of my landscapes. This is Big Bend. And that jamming music is my neighbor's four-year-old birthday party.